Cowboys are coming off a 12-5 season and a division title. There's been a lot of turnover this offseason. They've lost two of their four leading receivers last year, Amari Cooper and Cedric Wilson, along with two key pieces on the offensive line. But Dak Prescott doesn't seem too concerned, telling the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, quote, I know what this team has, and the men that they have, and the coaches and the leadership, we definitely didn't take a step back. We're going to continue to get better, and that's what this offseason is about, and that's what moving forward is. Roz and Lewis Riddick back with me. Um, Graz, do you agree with Dak that this team has not taken a step back in the offseason? Yeah, I, I think a lot of it's overblown. I do, because I, I think looking at their offseason, the way it unfolded, really the only thing that didn't go to plan, it looks like, was losing Randy Gregory. They wanted him back. Like, Amari Cooper was going to be out because of the contract and their cap situation. And, and you know, C.D. Lamb was a first-round pick. Two years ago, he's supposed to be a number one wide receiver. So now is his time. So they, 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 they're following a draft and develop plan. They weren't able to keep Gregory, and I know that frustrated them. But the other guys on that list, I think if you had asked the Cowboys in October, November of last year, are they going to be on next year's team, they would have said probably not. Lewis, where do you need to see the most improvement with this team from 2021 to 2022? Really, I don't think it has anything to do with the personnel. I think it has to do with the coaching. It has to do with situational decision-making. It has to do with clock management. It has to do with all those things that contribute to W's and L's, Max, when you're talking about games that are decided by plus or minus seven points. And that's something that I think, you know, on a weekly basis, analysts got on TV for ESPN and other networks, I'm sure, as well. And we're talking about Mike McCarthy and how he was costing them football games in tight, in tight game situations. Now, I, do I think that from a personnel standpoint, have they taken a step back on paper? Yeah, they have. I mean, look, Amari Cooper is a good player. They're, he's a very good player. We don't know what Jalen Tolbert, their third-round wide receiver out of South Alabama, is going to be. Okay? We don't know what Tyler Smith, the first-round they draft, mm -hmm. first round offensive lineman they draft out of Tulsa, we don't know what he's going to be. We don't know if Sam Williams, their second-round defensive end out of Ole Miss, whether or not he's going to be as good as Randy Gregory or someone who can kind of offset that kind of production. So on paper, yeah, they've taken a step back. But I think they'll, they'll develop those players if they have actually hit on them and they identified the right guys. But here's the, the, the kicker, though, for them is how this football team is managed on game day and the decisions that are made on game day, and the clock management decisions in particular in late-game situations on game day. That's where the difference is really going to be made up because we saw how it cost them last year. We see it right there on our screen. That right there is a microcosm, or really, really kind of embodies Dallas' season. That right there on your screen. Yeah, I mean, Mike McCarthy is a Super Bowl winning coach, but the league passed him by as the reason he lost his job in Green Bay, right? And then Dallas hired him, and we heard so much, oh, now he understands the analytics. And, and, and But as, as Lewis just pointed out, there have been some issues with the clocks late in games. How long is the leash from what you can gather from Mike McCarthy? Yeah. I, I don't think it's that long. Jerry Jones is more patient than his reputation indicates with, with his coaches, and he wants to be right about this coach. But they have a defensive coordinator in Dan Quinn who they think very, very highly of, who's qualified to be a head coach. And I think if they get to the end of the season and they determine Mike McCarthy's part of the reason that it didn't work out, then I think he, he could be in some trouble to be replaced uh, from within. Both of you, a yes or no answer. Cowboys finally win a playoff game this season, Lewis? Yes or no? Yeah, I think they will, especially oh. if these young draft picks hit. Oh, I think they will. Yes, the Cowboys win a playoff game. Dan? I say no. I'd like to hope not. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.